Okay. Now this is a video just to tell you like what I use to make a scarecrow mask. Now this is probably get a little bit vague and maybe kind of stupid, but this is how I done it. What I have here is this is the supplies I have. But right now I actually came back from Walmart. This is the foam sheet that I'd be using. This is something different. This is good for the mouth. Especially the wire ones. I'm gonna be using this for the mouth. It's already looks like it's stitched up. My mouth. This is the, like the one I actually was using that I use to for my face. I put this. They're, they're decorative, but it, they're you know you have to tolerate it if you want to measure your face. Now this actually they have a, a white ones that for uh, other scarecrow you want to do. I think the best possibility if you want to just just grab this one for the mouth. These things are not really great. This is like the burlap, but you can see how stiff it is, not light. It's it's really not the best, but um, if you have some ways to tolerate it, you're gonna put some kind of like a fiber on top of it so it doesn't itch you. But I'm gonna use the foam sheet and try to expand it along with the wires with the burlap is here. The things I use to keep it together to measuring myself after I put it on, since there's a loop, I use this zip saw tie. Here's the glue, hot glue for to seal in. There's a yarn with the needles just to sew a little bit. Here's a last it. We'll figure maybe if I need to. But I'm probably going to get the one with the bean. The coffee bean sacks, which must be much more lighter. I'm going to have to actually get another material to cover that top. And, um, at least a good scissor. These are something to cut them. Because you kind of see it's all jaggedy on the ends. It's all terrible. Which is okay. And, um, this is just the basic supplies I have. And, um, of course, you need a measurement so we can get a a black markers or whatever just to measurement a, a dummy head or anything to get get the right range but that's that's about it. And this the hot glue. Sometimes scissors like these. Not, some, sometimes this this be okay but a bigger scissor that meant to cut the fiber just just for the face or in the eyes. Just a little bit but just generally anything. Uh, I use this just to darken a little bit, like outlining it, creating shadows a little, just smudge a little. Any, any something. Uh, this is pretty much it. That's what I'm working with. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of work.